Hey guys, good morning, Coach Sean. Coach Debbie. Um, I'm tired. Well, I'm tired. Yeah, this week, I don't know, we spent a lot, I spent a lot of time working outside yesterday on our play set for Bradley, and I don't know, I'm just tired today. I heard it harder to get started. Yeah. I'm not like unmotivated, just no. kind of like, oh, oh. okay, I guess we gotta do it. Less like, whoa! Not that we don't want to do it. I know. Yeah. We um, do? So I told you we're changing the schedule up a little bit to adjust for our week because we're going to be traveling a little bit. So we're going to be doing build shoulders today. And then, yeah, so we got shoulders. And I'll tell you about it afterwards. MG, y'all. Take it away, Daddy. Done! Shoulders are done. Yeah. We weren't supposed to do shoulders today, so I don't know if it has anything to do with it. But my shoulders were sore yeah. to start. Um, my issue is that my shoulders are weak, so in the other workouts I use them, um, and they fatigue trying to stabilize the weights and trying to do stuff. So my shoulders were sore um, from some of the other work, from back and bike, and, and I don't know what other ones, but... Chest and try. Chest and try. So again, she said this isn't our normal schedule, which it's not, but this is the schedule for a huge beast. We're doing lean beast, but we had to not cardio to make our week work. We're going to be traveling and there's no uh, weights, like we're not taking all the weights, so we'll do cardio and have an off day and it'll work out better. Yeah. Um, good workout. Good workout. My, my weight, like, so I'm in this phase, like, you guys are going to start hearing me talk about how, like, everything's blowing up and everything's light and like I'm crazy insane and that's just because I have great muscle memory not like bragging but that just this is my wheelhouse so it just does good for me my uh, pre-workout and intro workout are flowing getting me going and just everything becomes lighter so it's gonna be about two weeks so I'm gonna be on this awesome kick until it stabilizes out and then everything's back to normal again back to hard back to damn for me, I just looked at my worksheets and went, um, I wrote that it was hard last time and I need to go down in weight because that's See all. See that? GF2Revolution.com. You got a beast worksheet. I'm like, I don't remember this. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, but I know I can't even use a five pound weight for this one. <laughs> you know, you do that six, six ways. ways. Yeah, I use two, two pounds, two and a half pounds, whatever it is, a little two pound. Um, because it's a lot of reps for one move. One, two, um, three. Six, yeah, six. Six steps for one move. And then all the other ones, I really feel like today I dialed in my weight, like what the appropriate weight was. Like I fatigued at the right spot. Um, I could progressively go up. I was telling him that the jump from 15 to 12 it seems like the same. Like I'm like, I can't go up in weight or I can only go up from uh, 10 to 12 and a half because it's, it's like the same a number. Mm -hmm. And then jumping from 12 to eight, I could definitely up my weight because do it for eight um, because it wasn't as hard to keep going as it is to like make it yeah, longer. Definitely. So that's my my thing. So trying to up the weight a little bit each progression, even if it's just by the two and a half, just so that I'm improving and whatever. I got on the bench a lot easier today. Um, <laughs> for the important. For, for, the, for the 45 degree scat traps. I laid down without the bench needing to be traded out or pausing or having a meltdown. Oh, let's jump into that, like, bragging rights here, so, like, Just saying. in the first set of any of the workouts, first set, okay, if you need to go lighter on that first set of 15 to get kind of warmed up, get your joints moving a little better, do so. You don't have to push it right out of the gate on that first, uh, that first set. When you get to the 12 and 8, you got to be start pushing, but use that first one if you need a little extra warm-up to keep warming up because you don't want to get injured. That's kind of what I found out today. I was like, okay, I went 20s, I'm going to 25s. 25s were like, woo, catch, woo, catch, super light. So I was like, okay, 35s, 12. Oh, thank God, this is so light again. So I'm like, okay, 50s. 
and then I did 50s. I'm like, eh, that was about a medium effort. So then I dropped down to 40s, and it felt good. So I know next time I gotta jump all my weights up again. And then to shrugs, my max weight was 65, which I used for my 12 this time. And I used 80s, and then 80s felt light. 40s for the scap trap on the bench, and just like I said, it's just feeling good now. Good. All right, that's what we got. You gotta go to work. I do have to go to work, but that was pretty quick out. Overall, it was good for us in different ways. Like he's super like pumped up, excited. His weights are all awesome. He can go heavier. For me, I feel like I'm going at the right weight, slow, kind of steady, but just really um, focused on the move and actually you know feeling it in the right spots and not you know hurting other places or feeling it compensate other places from not doing it right. Yeah, and we're both kind of happy we didn't have cardio today because we were just feeling kind of sluggish from like I'm a hungry, cardio point. Hungry. Um, we ate dinner earlier last night, and so I woke up, and usually we work out and then go, but I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so hungry, John. Who knew an hour made such a difference? <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, guys, we will talk to you on Friday. Remember, it's about getting fit. Together. You're not alone. Okay.